All right, folks, I've told you that we got a bunch of tents, a bunch of military HDT Basex tents. Let me show you a couple of them, give you a tour of what we got in the warehouse here. You can see the status as of today, Christmas Day, 2020. All right, here we go. All right. Here's Basics 203. The door is not installed on this end, so you can see what it looks like open. All right, and I can't stake it down and pull everything out tight because it's a cement floor. All right, we got a window, air conditioning ducts, a door, stove pipe, another door, more window, more window, more air conditioning ducts. This wall is up, that door's rolled up. We don't have a window on this end. Here's the floor. All right, so they come with a floor, and here's the liner. It's upside down. You can see some wetness. I have it laid out to dry. There we go. Here's another Basex 203. It's just the 15 long, 14 wide tent. This is uh, one of the end walls for the liner. I think that might be like a mid wall, like it goes inside part way. Here you see the tent part way up. It's as high as I could get it. Uh, I lifted that one up by myself. It's supposed to be two to four people. I got that one up by myself. This one with the liner hooked up inside was just too heavy. I couldn't get it. I almost got it up, but not quite. So had a little trouble with that erection, sorry. But uh, anyhow, this is a 203. All right, over here, we have a whole bunch of, all of these are the 305, the larger tents, I think. Actually, not even sure what's in the crates back there. Uh, they're labeled as 305s, that's probably what they are. I think that one right there is a 303, which is the mid-size between the 203 and the 305. More 305s, so everything's either a 305 or a 203, except that one, and that's a 303. So as far as I know, these are all 305, 305, 305, 305, Probably 305s in here. Yeah. Yeah, that one says 305. Um, and I think that's the liner and probably just a tent under it. Oh, this one is stacked. What do they say? Buy them cheap, stack them deep. Why defo? Oh, what do we have here? 305. All right. I definitely. Didn't buy them as cheap as I'd like, but stacked them deep, certainly. All right, more 305s. Now, we're into the 203s, all right? 203, I think that one's a 203. This appears to be a 305 again, got mixed in. And then these are 203s that I've got kind of partially open, because you can see a little moisture in there. I want these to air out. So in the next day or two, I'm gonna come back and set these up and identify where things are broken. Like right here, we have a pole that there should be a connector up here that is not connected. So I will be troubleshooting that. And this is where I'm stealing parts right now. So we're cannibalizing this one, which is a shame because this green canvas, I think it's the only green canvas 203 here. And that canvas looks awesome. Really, it looks like it was probably put up once and that was it. Uh, but unfortunately, it got uh, dinged up in the bottom section when it was uh, jammed in a crate. A bunch of stuff at the bottom got broken, so um, that seemed to be the best candidate to cannibalize. So that's what we got. If you can count them, you can tell me how many tents I have here. But honestly, a couple of these crates, I don't even know what all's in here. I haven't got down. So that looks like... Oh, that may be a 203. I don't know. Uh, but I think there's one on the other end of that crate too. And yeah, who, who knows? A couple of, some of, I think those one, two, three crates are all a single 305. That one back there may be another single 305. This one, who knows what's in there? That looks like two or three tents. Uh, the, the crate, let's see, not that crate that's empty over there, but the one that is still at my house has a 305 in it. And it also had two 203s. So they, they loaded them up, man, seriously. Or, or woman, I don't want to be sexist here. If you're of the finer persuasion, I apologize for the man comment. Anyhow, here's what we got. Uh, and you can see there's a little rip right there. It's the only problem I've found with this tent so far 
is this little rip. Well, and a couple little scrapey things like, like that one there, the little one. But that's the only big thing I've found with this one. A um, little dusty, a little dingy, but otherwise, pretty damn good shape. Here we go. This is a 203 stovepipe tent. I think my flashlight's about to give up. It's getting a little flickery. Here we go. Da da da. I have not priced these yet. I gotta see how many are usable. And uh, if it goes like these first two, then I needed to rob four poles. There were four of these poles that were broken on this one. I had to rob poles from the from the cannibal. The 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 uh, you know when I when was in aircraft maintenance, we had an aircraft all the time. We had one designated as the can bird. We called it. That's when we cannibalized parts off of that. I guess that's the can tent. So it's not a an aircraft on this one I had to replace what was it this hub I had to steal off the other one and this um, this whole kind of V for the legs came off the other one and I think two poles Ooh, that one's got a little bendiness in it uh, that may just be because it's setting part way up we'll see what it looks like when it gets all the way up uh, but anyhow that's what we got at Jeff's tent emporium let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.